at the moment, Bitcoin BTC is just barely more than 43% of the crypto markets, which is not all time lows, which was like 33%, but it's very, it's quite low. And typically when crypto goes into a bear market and everything uh, collapses, more of the money flows from the smaller coins back into Bitcoin because it's perceived as the safe hedge. And at least in the past, maybe less now, but in the past, you usually you the you couldn't trade a lot of the coins against fiat currencies or against stable coins either. So you would have to sell your ones into Bitcoin and then from Bitcoin into your US dollars or into your um you know Australian dollars or into your bank account or whatever. So as a result, all that traffic flowing back through would kind of push up uh Bitcoin and uh, and as the bear market got worse, Bitcoin would recover more and all the smaller projects would die off, right? But what we've seen is with each cycle, because Bitcoin has not expanded as a payment system, it hasn't gained any more sort of real world traction, just more speculation. Uh, the market and the investment and the innovation and stuff has just started flowing around it. So now, yeah, even getting bitcoin over 50 percent again we might we might see a huge crash from here and suddenly everybody's going to pile back into bitcoin and that will save the day but i don't think that's likely i think we've already seen huge drawdowns and this is the this is prime time this is when like the dominance did go up a bit it went from 40 percent up to 48 percent right so it was starting that kind of move but it died off and now it's actually reversed it's back to 43 percent 